Today we're going to learn how to put a hoof bandage on a horse's foot. Uh, we're using a model to do that. So if it was a real horse, you would need to pick the foot up um, carefully and put it between your, your legs um, so that you basically can hold the foot with no hands. I'm going to show you today how to do a foot bandage uh, with a diaper. You could also use just regular square gauze, um, but a, a size one diaper works very well. Um, it's got the, the absorbent padding um, and when you put it on the foot, you basically put the diaper um, down on the foot and diapers have kind of a velcro-y part and, an, that, and a non-velcro part and so I like to just take the velcro part and undo it and put it up over the heel like that. And so if you're dealing with a horse that's being kind of naughty, you can always just at this point have, have your poultice on um, while held on with the diaper and if the foot were to get away from you um, it wouldn't the poultice wouldn't go everywhere so then you need to secure the diaper on somehow um, easiest way is to just use vet wrap key with vet wrap is that it's it can cause a lot of damage to a horse's foot if you get on the skin um, of, of the of the limb and so you have to be very careful when you're you're put, putting it on that you don't pull too tight um, on any time you go on the hair or on the skin. So I generally just start by wrapping one circumferential wrap like that and I'm all on the hoof so I can wrap pretty tight. Then I take and I start doing a figure eight. So I'm going to come up over the heel and at this point I'm going to I'm going to pre-stretch out my vet wrap so it's not too tight. I want to make sure that I maintain a little bit of uh, give in the in the wrap so that it, it doesn't get stretched taut it's gonna have a little bit of stretchiness left so it's not tight so I'm gonna come up around um, and I am gonna go above the hoof but again I'm gonna apply that vet wrap very lightly and then that lets me come back down over the other heel and so I have a nice figure eight so then I generally come around the hoof again itself and I pull really tight on that because it's only on the hoof um, and then I'm going to do another figure eight. Again, now I'm going to pre-unroll it so it can be looser because I'm going to be on the, on the hair and skin where it could cause damage. Um, and then around. And, and it's, if you want to try to cover um, all of the padding, you can just kind of keep doing circles uh, to, to do that. Again, notice I wrap really tight when I'm on the hoof and loose when I'm on the skin. So then you're just going to secure that. Okay. And then at this point, um, you would have pre-made a uh, duct tape pad of some sort. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. So you can either put it on just like a square or the most helpful thing to do is to actually cut slits in each corner. And this you would have done before you started putting the bandage on. Although at this point if the foot, if the horse gets their foot down, it's not a big deal. So then by doing that, I can just place this on the bottom of the foot and then I basically uh, curl the edges back so that they all overlap and nicely conform to the horse's, horse's leg, like that. Then you can never have enough, to, enough uh, duct tape. And so you would take a roll of duct tape and go ahead and just solidify that a little bit. So you're going to wrap around um, to, to hold that all in place. Key with duct tape is you don't want it to ever touch the skin. And if I'm wrapping tight, I'm, I'm only going to be wrapping on the hoof not on the skin. 
The last thing that you want to do is check to make sure that the vet wrap isn't too tight on the skin. And so you're going to just stick your finger in that and it should be nice and loose like this. If you're worried at all about it, you can take your scissors and just cut a little slit like that. And then that way um, you're not going to get any uh, compression or tension uh, on the skin because you can easily cause uh, edema formation and constriction if you have that vet wrap too tight. Another thing you can do um, in addition to doing this, the split is you can also um, put Elasticon um, over the top so that shavings and debris and things don't get down in the bandage. So to do that you want to actually pre-unroll your Elasticon because you need to put it on very loosely um, and not tight because Elasticon is very stretchy and can cause constriction. So you're going to pre-unroll it and then just, I generally just start at the, at the duct tape and um, just add on like just like one or two um, complete complete um, circles around the limb. And again, this is totally an optional thing if you want to just prevent um, debris and shavings from, from going down into the bandage. And then you just cut the, the elasticon with bandage scissors um, and there you go.